Hey, welcome to this Stair Tailored. I'm Sarah Powell from the University of Texas at Austin. And in this session, we are focused on how we could show fractions using the area model. Now the area model means that we can take any area, it could be a circular area, a rectangular area, a triangular area, actually any area, and if that area can be divided into equal parts, we can use it to show a fraction. So today we're going to focus on showing the fraction 3 fourths, and I'm going to move over here to my doc cam to show how we can use different manipulatives to show this fraction 3 fourths. So we're focused on the fraction 3 fourths. I always like to have that written. I'll write my fraction 3 fourths right here so that we remember what fraction we are trying to show. Now, with the area model of fractions, often we think about a circular area. And I can take that circular area and I can divide that area into four equal parts. That's what my denominator is telling me. But then the fraction is 3 fourths, so I need to show three of those four equal parts. So here is an area with one, two, three of the parts shown. Uh, we can also show this in slightly different ways. So here I'm going to take uh, two shapes and I can show three fourths of the area of these shapes. So here I have shown the fraction 3 fourths. I can also do 3 fourths where something like Legos. So here is an area and I'm going to show 1, 2, 3 of the four parts of that area with the turquoise Legos. Now in addition to the fraction circles and the pattern blocks and my Legos, we can also show the fraction 3 fourths using a tool like our geoboard. So I have a blue geoboard. I'm just trying to get my rubber bands here. All right, here's my geoboard there. And I want to show the fraction 3 fourths. So first that means I need to show an area with four equal parts. And I can be pretty uh, simple. And I could say, well, here is an area with one, two, three, four equal parts. Oops, made a little bit of a mistake there. Now that uh, represents the denominator or the whole, but I could use a different colored rubber band to show the numerator or to show three of the four parts. But the nice thing about the geo board is it doesn't always have to be rectangular in shape. Let's see, I could do something like this. I could say here is an area. I'm going to try to get, I'll do like a letter L here. I actually have to extend it just a little bit. That is divided into one, two, three, four equal parts. And then I could take my other colored rubber band and ring uh, the rubber band around three of those four parts. So I have an area that is divided into equal parts. So we have lots of tools that we can use here. We could do something with the geo board. We can use the fraction circles. You can use pattern blocks. You can use Legos. Lots of different things to use. And all of them represent the area model of fractions. So that was just a brief introduction into the area model of fractions, and we hope that you'll tune into some of our, our, our other stair tailoreds where we look at the set model of fractions and the length model of fractions.